Steph here. We've also got Callum in the room, although I don't think he can really get to us right now. So if there's any background noises, it's probably him. Don't know if you could hear that, but that's an example. So today I'm going to be making the five main cats from the Aristocats in Cass, because I loved the Aristocats when I was a kid, and I still do. Thought I might get some more practice in before I make our actual cats by making some Disney cats. Let's give this a go. Talking new game. Okay, stop asking me. Why does it keep asking me that? Okay, so we just need to have this guy in here as a human. So let's do cat. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Duchess. She is the mother. Duchess. And I'm gonna go with Aristo. Okay, so I'm just gonna go have a look at a picture. Okay, so that just should be quite easy because she's basically just a plain white cat. So let's have a look at breeds. I wonder if it says what she breed she is. A long haired, purebred, white Turkish Angora cat. Turkish Angora, excellent. Okay, that's a lovely point to come into that. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can start with that. She's definitely white, so that's good. Okay, so body. She's quite a slender cat, I would say. So probably that one, but I might just... Here we go, if we, uh... Because she's not... <laughs> this doesn't really seem to be much changing there, does there? Okay, tail. She's got a really long, big, bushy tail. And we've only got two choices, so we'll have to go with that tail. I wonder if I can... Can I do anything with the tail? Just make it a bit bushier. Coat colour, she's definitely just plain white, so I think we can just leave that as it is. We just... oh, it's ran the wrong way. There we go. Fur. She has long hair, but she doesn't look quite like that, so let's have a look. She's like a smooth hair. Possibly that one, that's quite a smooth one. That's looking a bit more like her. Okay, so why don't we go and sort out her face, because her face definitely isn't right. So head shape, she's got a nice sort of, she's got like a lot of fur here. So hopefully I can... That's probably a good shape. If we start with that one, maybe we can... Can we, uh, maybe get a little bit more... The fur kind of flicks up here by the cheeks, but I'm not sure that we'll be able to do that. The ears are kind of rounded, aren't they? So... It might be like that if I can get them to be smaller. Eyes. So she has blue eyes, doesn't she? Because they're like... Sapphires. I'd say that one. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with that colour. Uh, let's have a look at the nose, shall we? She's got a very triangular nose. It's kind of just there, really. No. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that nose. Okay, but we do want to see if we can get her nice gold collar. Oh, I don't know what it just did. I meant to turn her. I feel like she's got a thin neck, actually. We can maybe thin down that neck of hers. I wanna try and get her as small as possible. It was a cute little brow. Oh, actually, her eye shape is wrong. Thinking about that. It's kind of like that, but it does have the circles. Okay, let's go with that and then see if we can close those eyes just a little bit. It's kind of making her look a bit angry. Maybe like so? Okay, I think that looks a bit better. Okay, back to... Clothing. So can we get a nice sort of it's like a like a necklace more than a collar really, isn't it? Okay. What about this one? I'd say that's probably as close as we're gonna get. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So there's Duchess. 
I know she's not perfect, but you know, it's the best you can do. I don't think she ever does that. Or that, really. Okay. So now we want to... Can we play with genetics with animals? Yes, we can! Her child, unknown parent, because we never get to see it, and we want it to be a kitten. Because she's got three kittens. So which kitten should we do first? Okay, I think we're going to do Marie first. So we want it to be a little girl. And it's a good starting point because she does look a lot like her mother. So, let's have a look. So I'm going to keep them as the same breed because I don't think it says. So, body size. Well, let's have a look. Tail. She's also got a big bushy tail, so maybe we can go into the furs. Because I'd say the pattern is she's full white again. So we want the longer fur. I'm going to get two choices with that. That's a shame. Okay, let's see if we can make this tail bigger. Because they've both got like those big bushy tails. And then body size, she's a very slim cat as well, which I don't think we're going to be able to do. When you turn around a bit. Okay, can we make her have a thinner neck? Because they don't have these thick necks in the film. There we go, that's probably about all we can do. Okay, let's go and sort out her face. So, which head shape? She's got like the little short nose that seems to be sort of pushed up a little bit, which is really cute. So I think we're going to start off with that face. Okay, so the ears are going to go a little bit smaller, but a little bit like fatter. We can get that to a point. That'll do. Okay, the nose. So she's got like a cute little button nose. I'd say probably that one, but then I might try and push it up a little bit. So if we make that a bit thinner, and then can we push that up a bit? No? Okay. That's probably the best we can do. Oh, whiskers. Could we not change the whiskers? Oh. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. These colours don't seem to be in the right place. Okay, let's just go with that. Could we not change the whiskers on Duchess? Okay, I'd say she's got the middle whisker and the black. So there we go. Okay, back to Mary. So let's get her eyes. So they've definitely got like this more of a shape, but I want to kind of rotate it to there. And then we want to kind of bring them in a bit because they're not that big. There we go. Can we like make these bits go out a bit? Because she's also got like the flicky up cheeks. That's probably the best that we can do. And you can't. Oh, eye colour. <laughs> yes, she's also got the blue eyes, the same as her mother. And you can't do pet clothing on kittens, which is really sad because she's got like the bows and everything. So I might. I might get rid of this, but I might try and paint it on. Because it's sad that she doesn't get a bow. Because the bow is important. That's like part of who she is. You know, she doesn't look like a like her. So. There's a lot of pressure right now because Callum's watching. Okay, maybe if we get her sitting up like that. There we go. Then we can do that and then spin her around a bit. Oh, don't know what happened there. But she does have like the bow bits on the back, so I might try and... I know this looks a bit weird, but I want her to have her bow. She's in a big pink bow. And then she's also got one on the top of her head. Which I'm going to put her down like this for. And maybe make this a bit smaller. Oh, that's too small. There we go. Okay, so she's got like a little bow thing there. That kind of goes out like so. Well, that just looks weird, but never mind. Well, she looks a bit strange now, but I wanted her to have her bow, and that was the best way I could think of doing it. So, there we go. It's very a shame that you can't get pet clothing for kittens. Oh, I forgot to give her her name. So she is 
Mary Aristocat. Oh, I didn't look at the breed. So Turkish Angora. So I want her to be a Turkish Angora. Did that not automatically do that? This may change everything. Why do they do that? Okay. Okay, it hasn't changed too much. I'm just gonna... Alter out a little bit. Okay, there we go. So I realised that it hadn't done the same breed because it doesn't actually say what her breed is, so I've just kept it the same as her mother. So I also realised that I didn't do these. So, mischievous, I do not think so. There is no way that Duchess would be mischievous. She is. She's definitely affectionate because she loves her human. It's very tricky. Fluffy? I don't really want her to have hairballs though. Friendly. Which is kind of the same as affectionate, but you know. Um, oh, and I'm gonna go with spoiled because, you know, her human spoils her. Okay, let's go for Marie. So we need to get rid of mischievous. Oh no, actually. The kittens are kind of mischievous, aren't they? Not in that way. But there we go. I'd say playful, because she's a kitten. Yeah! And then I'm also going to put affectionate, because she likes the human too. That may end up being the same for all three of them. All three of the kittens, but there we go. Okay, so we are going to play with genetics and get her a little sibling. And we want it to be a brother. Let's just start with this guy, shall we? So, so this little guy is going to be Berlioz. Let me just check the spelling. Berlioz. So Berlioz is a grey cat. I'm going to make sure that he is the right breed because maybe if we go for this one. So his tail is actually thinner than his sister's. I wouldn't say it's any shorter, but it is thinner. Like she's got the big bushy tail and I would say okay can we get one with a white or a different colored tummy okay that might be a good starting one we want it to be didn't mean to do that right we want him to be gray let's just make it all gray to begin with Okay, so that's his tummy, so his tummy is kind of like a... Okay, no, he needs to be a darker grey than that, doesn't he? Okay, that's getting there, but it's not quite right. I wonder if there's a better one. Okay, I'm going to stick with that for now, but I will need to do some stuff in paint mode, particularly getting rid of the pink colour, but, you know. His fur... I don't know, I'd say he's possibly a bit of the shorter fur. It's a shame that there aren't more options. Looks very strange at the moment. Okay, so here's head shape. Uh, let's go with that one with a little more flicky up nose. There's a pretty good. I'm just going to bring them down a little bit and then out a little bit. The nose. Oh, I didn't check the nose colour. Okay, I'm just going to have a look at the nose colours for these two because I didn't actually check it. They have got very pink noses though. Okay, yeah, that's the pinkest pink. And... Which I think her nose is a little small. I might want to... Can we, uh... I feel like I've made that a little bit too small, really, haven't I? Okay, I can't seem to change it. Never mind. Yeah, okay, so they've both got the pink noses. He's got a black nose. So, nice little black nose. Um... I'd say that one. His whiskers, he's got the same black whiskers. And I seem to be having a bit of trouble with this, so give me a minute. How am I supposed to give him black whiskers when I click on black and it just changes the colour completely? There we go, okay. Black whiskers. <laughs> okay, the eyes. So he has got probably. Oh no, they look really sad eyes. 
Okay, we'll go with them, and he's also got the blue eyes, but we're going to make them a lot smaller, because the eyes are not that big. Like, not even slightly that big. Okay, so now I think we need to sort all of this out. So, what? Uh, okay, so we want to get the grey colour, because he is that colour sort of all over, isn't he? So, let's get him one colour. Let's just make the brush size bigger. Let's just completely get rid of all of this because it's not right at all. There we go. And he's not stripy. He is just plain black. And he doesn't have white pores. In fact, let's just completely cover him. I should have just gone for a plain cat colour, but never mind. Okay, so I will make that a bit smaller and then I want this colour but I want it to be a little bit greyer. So it kind of starts up there-ish and then it does go out a bit and say it goes all the way down in. Probably like so. And then I need to fill in that middle bit. There we go, now what happens if we get him to sit up like that? Yeah, I'd say that looks pretty good. Let's maybe just make it a little bit wider here. There we go. Okay, and now I need to do his little bow. So he's got a little red bow, I would say probably about that colour. We need to go way thinner though, his bow is a lot smaller. So let's go like so, and then spin him a little bit, and then keep going around. There we go. And then we want to do a nice little bow part there, and then he's got like the bits that go down like so. There we go. Okay, so there's Berlioz. Looks a bit strange, but never mind. Okay, so what about his traits? Um, he's definitely mischief. I think they're all going to be the same really, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to keep them all of the same traits because they are very similar. Okay, so so we now want to move on to uh, Toulouse. So we're going to do some genetics. And we want his... Wait, hold on. Berlioz is a boy, right? Yeah. Has it come out with him? Why has his whiskers changed colour? Okay, why has he turned to a, a female? <laughs> okay, he's now male, and his whiskers have changed colour. Okay, that's a black whisker, so we'll stick with that. That's better. Right, now, so now we need to play with genetics and create his brother. There we go. Okay. So this is Toulouse. How do you spell that? Toulouse. There we go. He is a Turkish Angora. Just stick with the same braid, please. Okay. So his tail is probably the thinner tail as well. So let's just make that a bit thinner. His coat colour is all one colour. But we want it to be sort of the more orangey. Is that because I've got... Let's get rid of paint. Ah, there we go. Okay, so he's a very orange cat, isn't he? I'm sort of an orangey brown, actually. Yeah, I'd say that's a good colour. I would say his fur... Well, he's quite a fat cat, so maybe if we... Maybe if we just give him the big fur. And just make sure that the fatness comes out. <laughs> he's a nice chubby cat. Okay, and then for his face. So he's also got the same sort of ears, so I'm just gonna play with them a little bit. Turn around and face me, please. His eyes. He's got sort of... No, please match. It's hard, his eyes are a bit weird. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna go with those eyes. Right, so the nose. So I'd say he's got that. Uh, that nose, but he's also got the black nose. And then the whiskers. There we go, black whiskers. And his eye shape. Oh, wow, okay. Oh no, I need to move those. Is there gonna be. Can I not move the actual eye location? There we go. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, yeah, I'd say that's about right. Okay, so we need to get his little blue bow tie in. So, probably around that kind of blue, and it's a quite a big bow tie, I would say. So let's do that, and then make that go around. And then have that join up like so. And then he's got a nice big, like, bow. There we go. Okay, so there's Toulouse. Oh, but we've got playful and affectionate. Because I think they've probably all got the same. So then we need to add a new cat who isn't related. Because we have to add Thomas O'Malley. O'Malley, the alley cat. So, Thomas O'Malley? Or is it EY? Let's have a look. Yeah, EY. Thomas O'Malley. O'Malley, the alley cat. Okay, what breed are you? Callum, what breed would you say Thomas O'Malley is? Cat. Callum says cat. Okay, great. We need to have like a starting cat. Okay, we're gonna start with this. What what was this? Oh, that was coat colour. I was on the wrong thing. Wait, come back, come back. I was on the wrong thing. It pooped. <laughs> okay, should we start with that one then? Okay. So we're starting with a Somali. So body, so he's quite a muscly cat, I would say, because he's you know like a a street cat. Not that you can see the muscle beneath all that fur. Um, okay, let's go with that one, but let's build up that muscle a bit. The tail. Okay, so I'd say he's probably got quite a thin tail, so I think we're going to stick with that tail. So the coat colour. He's. Oh, I keep clicking the wrong buttons. No, okay, so I think. If we make him all that colour to begin with. Okay, I'm gonna start with that. I know it's not quite right. But I think when he's got the grey in it won't look so bad. So furs. So he's got fur, but I wouldn't say he's very furry. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that one. Pet clothing I'm gonna come back to once I've finished paint mode, because I haven't done his face yet. That would be clever, wouldn't it? Okay, so he has got quite a big face, but the overall shape is probably going to be that one, but then can I make it like bigger? There's not much you can change, is there? Okay. Ears. I wish you could get like all of these options for kittens as well. He's kind of got one ear that flops a little bit down, but I don't think we're going to be able to get that. So I think if we go with these, but then bring them in a bit, because he's not they're not quite that big. Okay, let's go with that. His nose, he's got a black nose. It's quite big. Okay, I'm gonna go with that, but then I'm gonna pull it up a bit. There we go. And now for the joy of the whiskers! Oh! No, it did it! It did it! Yes! Okay. The whiskers are there. Right, he's got yellow eyes. Probably like that. Like the cat yellow type thing. Okay, so let's go into paint mode. So he's got like the grey tummy. I think he's also got grey paws. Oh, hold on. 
completely missed something in Toulouse. We need to go back into paint mode because he does have a lighter tummy. How could I forget that? So let's increase the brush size. Okay, you need to stand up, mate. How could I forget that he's got that light tummy bit? There we go. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, you can stand up. There we go, that's better. Right. So, we need to sort out paint mode on Thomas O'Malley. So he's got a very greyish, like, tummy. And paws, I think. Okay, so it looks like he's kind of got a bit of a grey bit on his face, and then it goes all the way down his tummy, and it's also on his front paws. So let's see if we can get that, shall we? And then if we get him back to being like that, then we can sort out his paws. Very tricky. Oh, can do that. To make sure that you get it all in the right place. But I would say that's good. Okay, let's get him standing facing me. Okay, so whilst once he sort of gets adopted, I he does have like the little collar thing with the bow tie. Which you can't quite get. So I think I'm just gonna give him a little green bow tie. Because I think that's the closest that we're going to get. So what is he? So I'm gonna get rid of mischievous because I would say he's a bit of a free spirit. He is. I'm gonna say affectionate. And I'm gonna go friendly. Which I know are pretty much the same. What I might do quickly is make the human. The right human. Yeah, so I'm gonna quickly make Madame Adelaide Bonfamille. And yes, I had that up next to me. So, Madame Adelaide. Oh, it's going to be her. Okay, well, we'll just get rid of Madame. She can just be Adelaide Bonfamil. Seeing as we have to have a human anyway, we might as well. Oh, can I not change the... Uh... Okay, well, that didn't go very well. So... Oh. I am going to do her as an elder though, because she is kind of an old Naughty woman. Hippie chip. <laughs> so, I would say, body type wise, she's quite oh. slim. So I'm just going to go with that. I won't spend too long on her, so, you know. Let's get her face sorted out. You know what? Her face is actually looking pretty good. I'm going to give her blue eyes. I don't know what her eyes are. Hair is kind of... white. You know what? I'm happy with those eyebrows. Uh, what about the actual eye type? Uh, there we go, I'd say that's a bit better. The nose is probably more... That kind of nose? And the mouth is probably pretty good, although can we get her a bit more smiley? Okay, I'm gonna go with that one because it's the smiliest one. The ears are fine, so she has these nice big, like, purpley earrings. It's not really the right colour. There we go, that'll do. I'm not going to do her in a hat because I feel like that might be going too far. So she's in like a nice sort of purpley pinky dress coat type thing. Uh, okay, so I've gone for this. I'm not overly happy with it, but I just wanted this to be quick. So... Adelaide... One of so, her aspiration is to be an animal lover. She loves cats. <laughs> I would say that she is good. And I would say she's no. cheerful. Okay. So she was just an extra just so that we have the human, but I think she looks okay. I couldn't get the right kind of dress, but never mind. So we have got Duchess, 
we've got Marie, we've got Berlioz, we've got Toulouse, and we've got Thomas O'Malley. So there we go. So that's it for today. Let me know what you think of my lovely Aristocat creations in the comments down below. If you liked this video then give it a little thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos then hit the little subscribe button and click the little bell to make sure that you get the notifications. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Much love. Bye! Bye! <laughs> <laughs>